2021. Now this video is obviously a little bit late because we are about two weeks into 2021. I did have every intention of filming this and getting this up either the end of 2020 or the very start of 2021, but I took a little bit of a mental health break and then I got sick. So this is going up later, but here we are. This video is so, you know, maybe you have a similar goal and we can kind of help each other out and keep each other accountable in the comments. And also just for me to vocalize it and put it out there into the universe. You know, sometimes when you speak things, they're more likely to happen. You're more likely to stick to them once you told somebody or put a video on the internet saying that you would. <laughs> so yeah, and you know, manifesting, you have to speak it into existence, right? So that's what we are trying to do in 2021. So my first goal is to reach my goal weight, which I'm not going to disclose what it is. At least not right now. Maybe I'll feel comfortable when I get there. Probably not though, but also I don't think numbers are that important. And I know numbers can be triggering for some people. So I think we're gonna stay away from that for now. But my goal is to reach my goal weight and then maintain my goal weight throughout the year and obviously onward. My goal weight is not anything insane or unrealistic. It's something I've decided that is doable, but still healthy and realistic for me to maintain for life, basically. So that is the goal. I am doing Nutrisystem. I am at the beginning of my second week. The second week started today, actually. Today's Sunday. So the first week is the hardest week because you get honestly not enough calories in my opinion, but the second week, even at this first day, seems to be like just night and day. So much easier. I think a lot more realistic. So I, I, I am enjoying it a lot more. If you guys are interested in hearing more about Nutrisystem, how I feel about it, my weight loss journey, let me know in the comments. If you didn't find me from a reaction video, then you are probably used to seeing weight loss content on this channel anyway. I may or may not be doing that again. I am going to dedicate like Wednesdays. So if you are here for non-music reaction videos, expect those types of videos on a Wednesday. I may not always post a non-music video on a Wednesday, but if I do post one, it'll be on a Wednesday, if that makes sense. Hope I didn't make that more complicated than it needed to be. If you guys are really interested in the Nutrisystem or weight loss content, then let me know. If there's a lot of interest in it, then I will post that stuff more frequently. Um, my second goal is to reach 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which I know is a hefty goal, but that's manifesting, folks. <laughs> so that's what I'm reaching for, which Again, hefty goal because at the time I'm filming this, I haven't even reached a thousand subscribers. I'm close though, I'm just under 900. So I'm close, it's in within reach, finally. <laughs> it's been years, but we're finally there and I love YouTube, so I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to really just put a lot of my time and energy into YouTube this year. I did a lot last year as well, but that's why I was able to grow as much as I did because I really just decided to take it seriously, upload regularly. So yeah, 5,000 subscribers by 2022. Put that energy out there for me. My third goal is to read six books by 2022. Now I know that that's not a lot of books. Six books in a year is, it's not a lot of books. <laughs> I know it, I love to read. I used to read a lot and I just, in the last year or two, stopped. I don't really know why. I really wanna get back into it because I just, realized, I think it was the last week or two actually in 2020 that it was something that I love doing, something that has always brought me joy in my life. Like since I was a very little kid, my mom used to find me like hiding under the blanket when I was supposed to be sleeping with a little flashlight trying to read. I've always loved reading and for whatever reason, I just let it go. So I wanna bring it back in. I originally wanted to read 12 books by 2022, but that's a book a month and it sounds doable, but I didn't want to set myself up for failure because I also want to make YouTube like a top priority in 2021. And YouTube is a lot of work, you guys. It takes up a lot of time. Filming is probably the easiest part of YouTube. <laughs> it's everything that comes after, you know, the thumbnails, the editing can take forever. Even a video that's like under 10 minutes, the editing can just be insane, take a lot of time the uploading, the filling out the description and all the back end stuff, the tags, all of it. It's just very time consuming. It, it's, it's a full-time job, honestly. Like it's just a lot. 
So I didn't want to make one of my goals to reach 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, but then, hey, also read a book a month because then I'm just gonna get overwhelmed and spiral and probably not do either. So <laughs> we're all about setting ourselves up for success here on this channel. Well, now we are. So six books. If you are also someone that loves to read and you have any book recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments below. I am open, <laughs> obviously. I will take all the recommendations I can get. I'm looking forward to it and I am gonna order a book off Amazon this week. Okay, fourth goal, I'm going to again give up alcohol, coffee, caffeine, and soda. Now I did this not as a new year's resolution i don't believe i think it was just something that kind of happened after last new year's like you know the beginning of 2020 i just stopped drinking alcohol and i stopped drinking coffee which i also i don't think these were intentional i think i just somewhere along the way i think it was after i became vegetarian just decided i wasn't gonna drink coffee anymore i wasn't gonna drink soda anymore and i wasn't gonna drink alcohol and i didn't for most of 2020 and then I started drinking coffee again. <laughs> the coffee was honestly because of YouTube because I had coffee once and then I filmed and I just realized I was a lot more hyper on camera, which came off more extroverted, which I feel like was better for filming. But for me and my mental health and my anxiety, caffeine is, it's a toxic relationship. So I'm gonna cut it out. Soda is really just because I want to and because I know it's unhealthy. I only drink diet soda, but I know that that's not any healthier than regular soda because it's just chemical soup. So I want to give that up again. Alcohol, it just makes me feel like crap, you guys. My husband and I had eggnog with Southern Comfort in it Christmas Eve. I think it was Christmas Eve. And literally, you guys, I made the drinks. Mine had this much in it, like literally this much. And I was <laughs> burping it up the entire next day. One drink. So me and alcohol, we're also breaking up. I don't think those will be hard ones to stick to. I think the soda will be hard to stick to because I didn't drink it for a while. And then I slowly, you know, had a little sip here. And now I'm just, I'm just in it again, you guys. <laughs> I have to give up soda. It's just an unnecessary cost and it's just, chemicals like what what is it doing for me nothing i gotta stop so we're stopping i'm stopping in 2021 and my last goal is for me to stay in therapy and improve my self talk you know positive self talk is very important the way i talk to everybody else is different and the way i talk to myself i think a lot of you could probably agree or relate but i just want to make myself stay in therapy commit to improving my overall mental health i think it's very important not i think I know, especially in the current state of the world, you know, we're in a pandemic, it's hard on everyone mentally and, and then you throw all the politics and the crappy way that everything is falling apart right now. I'm already over 2021, you guys. Anybody else? It's just me? I don't think it's just me. I mean, I knew, I'm gonna be honest, I was not, I was never one of those people that was like, I can't wait for 2021, bye 2020, because I knew nothing was gonna change just because it's a new year. But. You know, I did have a little bit of hope, a little bit of hope that it wouldn't be so instant that everything would just go to poop again, but, or more, but it did. So I can only control what I can control for me in my life. So those are my goals and therapy will help me <laughs> stay sane and level and will help me reach all of those goals because if I don't focus on my mental health and I don't get that in check and you know, more like this, then how am I gonna be able to reach and maintain all of these other goals if I'm constantly fighting a battle in my own head? All right, those are my goals for 2021. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have any goals for 2021. I guess the resolutions, I don't know why I'm calling them goals. Goals, resolutions, whatever, same thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you have any, if you have any that are similar to mine, let me know in the comments if you guys are open to and wanting to see content on my weight loss journey, my experience with Nutrisystem thus far and going forward. Definitely let me know that too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe so you don't miss new videos from me and I'll see you guys in the next one.